so this is the Lenovo Tab M10 and I'm using this tab for more than two months now so some people were complaining that the tab won't switch on uh, when plugged in charging uh, so this happened to me as well first it happened on the seventh day uh, after I bought the tab so if this happens to you don't panic you can see that the notification LED is blinking when the charger is plugged in but don't worry this is not a problem this is not a battery problem or a hardware problem uh, this is the Lenovo Tab M10 you can see here this is just a boot animation the tab was uh, unable to load the boot animation while charging so uh, it, it got stuck this is just a software bug which can be updated and easily fixed if this happens to you don't worry you just have to press and hold the button while the charger is plugged in at least 10 to 15 seconds or at least until the tab switched on, switches on oh, this is not a problem so you can see here the light is constantly blinking and I have pressed the power on switch so you can see here the, the tab will switch on here you can see the LED is, notification LED is constant so this is the boot animation what happens here is oh the boot app animation gets stuck this is just a software bug it can be easily fixed with an update so don't panic when if this happens to you as well so um, it happened it happened to me after on the seventh day when i purchased the tab so don't worry if this happens to you as well from i just noticed it, it was just a bug and uh, you can fix it easily so i will show you the normally how the tab will switch on or the how the animation looks now here you can see that this is the normal animation when the tab is switched on or uh, tab is plugged in for charging now you can see here now right now you can see here that the led blinked for two to three times now when the boot animation loads up and the led is constant so what happens here is the boot, boot animation gets stuck and the LED is constantly blinking. This doesn't mean the battery or the tab is uh, faulty, it's just the software bug. So don't worry if this happens to you, just you have to press and hold the power switch for uh, 10 to 15 seconds. That's it. Thanks.